Hi, I'm Lou Meyer, arborist with the Davy Tree Expert Company, and today I'm going to talk about four tips that we provide to our customers to get their trees and landscape ready for the winter. The first thing we talk about are the big three of the landscape industry, mulching your trees, watering your trees, and feeding your trees. Mulch is a great thing when done in the right amount. We always recommend one to two inches at the very most and keep it four to six inches away from the trunk of the tree. You want to be able to see where the root flares out before it hits the ground. Watering your trees before winter is really important. As we head into this winter month, sometimes the uh, hydration drops off, the natural rain and snow. Um, and so before it gets into a deep freeze, get those roots a, a few more waterings. Finally, feeding. Trees are living beings and they require input. Nutrient management is a very important part of keeping your trees healthy and getting them the nutrients they need before they move into that winter session is very important. As we transition from fall into winter, we start talking about dormant pruning. Now, a big falsehood that folks have is that we can't do tree work in the winter because we can't see which limbs are dead or alive. To the common observer, summertime's a lot easier because you see a branch with no leaves and you go, obviously that one's dead. For us in the industry, the winter is a much better time to prune your trees. It's easier for us to see into the crown. And what we're looking for is inconsistencies. We're looking for fungal fruiting bodies on the limbs um, and other clues that tell us this limb is dead, this limb is alive. But it's just a much clearer picture up there. So now is the time to start thinking about getting an arborist on site to inspect your trees uh, for any damage before we head into the winter when we get snow load, ice load, and winds coming through that could bring down limbs over your property. Dormant oil or horticultural oil is a product that we like to use to help control unwanted pests as we move from the fall into the winter. It's a low toxicity product that's the least invasive of all of our plant health care initiatives to help keep your landscape healthy and happy. Specifically for the evergreen trees and shrubs on your property, anti-desiccant spray is a really good cultural practice to help those trees retain their moisture. In the winter, as wind blows across those needles or evergreen leaves, if you think of hollies and uh, azaleas and other evergreens here, uh, those cold winter winds draw moisture out of those plants. Anti-desiccant oil coats those leaves and provides a waxy um, coating to keep the water locked in and keep that moisture from going out and it helps prevent winter burn and stress in those trees and shrubs. Fall is a crucial time for your landscape, trees, shrubs, and perennials as we move into winter. It's a time for us to care for them, to identify hazards, and to get that garden in shape to have a great start for the next year.